It is go time, New Shepherd. Guidance to internal. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Command engine start. 2, 1. stresses on the vehicle are at its maximum. Max Q confirmed. You can also follow along on the top right of your screen. Watch New Shepard as she gains speed towards our maximum apogee altitude of 350,000 feet today. Thank you again for joining us live for the eighth mission in this new Shepard test program. Launch is looking nominal from here. Look at that clean burn on the B3 engine. Our next milestone is going to be main engine cutoff. We're gonna cut off that B3 engine All right, Nico confirmed, main engine cut off confirmed. If you are an astronaut in our capsule at this point, this one you're gonna to start to feel that weightlessness. Next up, we're gonna separate the crew capsule from the booster. Separation is complete, there goes the booster. Again, you're watching live from West Texas, our eighth mission in this New Shepard test program. We've confirmed separation. Just a moment here, you're gonna be able to see the two distinct craft. So we're just waiting for Apogee here. You're going to see, we're going to hit Apogee because that's when, in fact, the speed goes to zero. And then, of course, it's going to start to speed up as the craft come back down to land. There you see the two craft, the capsule on your right, the booster on the left. Mannequin Skywalker up there getting some beautiful views. We're not going to let him out of his seat today. But you know he's getting to see the beautiful limb of the earth out of those gorgeous windows. Again, second flight of that crew capsule with the windows. And now we're awaiting our apogee call. 347,000 feet. A beautiful ride so far for the capsule and the booster. Everything is looking nominal. Three hundred forty-seven thousand feet, just about twenty thousand feet over the Carmen line. 
or 100 kilometers internationally recognized line of space. All right, now the capsule and the booster are racing back home. The capsule is going to land just a bit after the booster. The booster, of course, is more aerodynamically shaped. The booster shortly here is going to hit atmosphere at Pierce Point. So that means that's, that's when the control surfaces are actually going to have some air pressure to be able to work against to guide the, the rocket back to its landing pad. So I'm hearing from the control room that we might have actually hit our goal of 350,000 feet, but we will confirm that uh, after the launch. Either way, a beautiful launch so far for the team. All right, those wedge fins at the front, uh, excuse me, on the forward section of the rocket have deployed. Those, again, are helping the rocket in its stabilization as it comes back into land. Shortly here, we're going to have the drag brakes deploy, and you can follow along on the right side of your screen and watch how it dramatically cuts the speed of the rocket as it comes into land. There go the drag brakes. Watch that speed come down on the right. Boom, we are the sonic boom down here in Texas. landing all right it's not over though all eyes are on the capsule look at that gorgeous window there all right so we're first waiting for the drogue shoots to come out those are kind of like the guiding parachutes they are followed shortly by the mains. And after full inflation, the capsule will come in at a nice steady 15 or 20 miles an hour for a smooth descent. There go the three drogues. And there go the mains. And nice, clean inflation. And look how the speed comes down just at about 16 miles an hour. I can only imagine the view the mannequin Skywalker has out of those windows as he slowly descends into the valley here in West Texas. So just as a reminder, in the last milliseconds, we're going to have the retro thrust system fire. It's going to kick up the dust, but really the capsule comes in at just about one or two miles an hour. So it's a nice, smooth landing. All right, we're at about 1,000 feet above ground level.
500 feet. And touchdown. Beautiful soft landing for our crew capsule. What a beautiful mission down here in West Texas. Woo! Congratulations to the Blue Origin team. Another spectacular test mission. It looks nominal from here. There is the rocket back on its landing pad in the crew capsule, sitting nice and pretty in the West Texas desert. What a day. All right, so now our recovery team is preparing landing, safe, landing safety operations and recovery. You know, if you're an astronaut on board the capsule, you get to hang out with your friends for a couple of minutes, high five, and just enjoy a few minutes of reflection from your life-changing ride up to space while our team comes to pick you up. The adrenaline would be pumping. I know it is still for me down here just having watched that. <sighs> wow. All right. Another great mission for our New Shepard team. Again, this was the eighth mission to space in our New Shepard test program. What a day.